the king's kid, yes I'm the king's kid My father is the king over everything So I will sing this song cause I know that I belong to the king of the universe I'm the king's kid, yes I'm the king's kid My father is the king over everything Good day there, King's Kids. I'm Arnie from Arnie Shack. Uh, so glad you could join us today, uh, King's Kids. Uh, I always love catching up with members of God's royal family uh, because since God in heaven is our Father and we are His children, um, it makes us all sons and daughters of the King of the Universe, our princes and princesses. Our uh, King's Kids. Uh, we have a story of some very exciting news today. Uh, news that Mary couldn't wait to share with Elizabeth. Uh, it's found in Luke chapter 1. Uh, anyway, uh, let's get on with it. travel and investigate the world, learning and experiencing all about the land, the people and how they interact. This is called geography. Did you know that studying the geography of the Bible can help us understand the stories and how amazing they are? Today we are exploring the geography of Nazareth and Bethlehem, two important towns in the story of Jesus' birth. Nazareth is the city where Mary was living when the angel Gabriel visited her to tell her she was going to have a baby, the Son of God. Nazareth is in the hills about 25 kilometers southwest from the Sea of Galilee. It had one single ancient spring for water and was built in an area of limestone. Most of the people in Nazareth had farms on the surrounding hillsides. Bethlehem is south of Nazareth. It is a biblical town built in the Judean mountains. When Mary and Joseph traveled to Bethlehem for the census, they had to travel about 140 kilometers or 85 miles. They would have traveled south down along the valley of the Jordan River and then turned west and climbed up over the hills that surrounded Jerusalem and continued to Bethlehem. It was a very hard walk. It would have taken them anywhere from four to seven days to complete the journey. 
Today we have good roads and cars to drive in. But people in Babel times had to walk up and down steep and winding paths, following the ridges and valleys to get to their destinations. There were dangers along the way, and travelers walked in groups for safety from wild animals or thieves. I am so glad I don't have to do that. Until next time, King's Kids, keep learning, questioning, and exploring our amazing world. Hey, Josh! Josh, guess what? You sound pretty excited, Lily. What's up? I'm just so excited, Josh. I'm going to be a big sister. My mom is having a baby. That's pretty cool, Lily. It sure is. I just can't wait to be a big sister. The hardest part was that I wasn't allowed to tell anyone until today. It has been so hard to keep this news to myself. I almost let it out so many times. Exciting news is very hard to keep to yourself, Lily. Yes, exciting news needs to be shared. Well, speaking of exciting news, are you ready to do some more Bible exploring, Lily? I sure am, Josh. What are we looking at today? Well, today, Lily, we're looking at Luke chapter 25. It is also about some exciting news. Well, let's not wait around. Let's find out what the news is. So where are we today, Josh? We're at the home of Elizabeth and Zechariah, Lily. Zechariah is the priest in the temple, and Elizabeth is his wife. So that must be Elizabeth there. Yes, it is, Lily. It sounds like someone has just arrived, Josh. Yeah, listen. Let's see if we can find out what is happening. I wonder who that could be. Zechariah is at the temple at work, and he just walks straight in anyway. Maybe it's Naomi from next door. Elizabeth, I am so glad to see you. Mary, oh Mary, I am so glad that you have come. God has blessed you above all other women and he has blessed the child that grows within you that you will give birth to. Mary, you are the mother of my Lord. Why am I so lucky that you should have come to see me? Come. Elizabeth, when Angel Gabriel came to me and told me the good news that I was going to have a baby, I just couldn't wait to come and tell you. And I am so happy and so excited that you and Zachariah are going to have a baby too. <laughs> yes, we are also very excited. But did you know that when the angel came and told us that we were to have a baby, Zachariah didn't believe and he has not been able to speak ever since. He will not speak until the child is born. And as you know me, I love to talk. So that means I get to talk twice as much without interruption. <laughs> we truly are excited too. So that means our babies are gonna be cousins. That is so lovely. Mary, indeed they will be cousins. And you are so blessed to be the mother of our Lord and our Saviour. I am so delighted and so humbled and petrified all at the same time. I, I'm just trying to find the words how to explain it all. Mary, when I heard your voice, my baby jumped inside me. He jumped with joy. You are blessed because you have believed what the Lord has promised will happen to you. Mary, hold on to that belief. Trust in Him and don't let go of that promise. I will praise my God as I sing this song and my heart it bursts with joy. I'm a humble servant, I really don't deserve it, but you bless me more than words can say. God, you're the powerful one and you have done such great things for me your name is holy and your love and mercy surround me every day God you are 
words, Mary, words from the mother of my Lord. I am so happy that you have come to stay. Please stay as long as you want. You are always welcome. So Mary is going to be the mother of Jesus. And I know that Elizabeth will be the mother of John. Such wonderful news. I like Mary. She's such a lovely person. I can see why she has been chosen to be the mother of Jesus. Hi, my name's Kyra, and today our Bible verse comes from Luke 1, verse 46 and 47. My soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Hi Kings Kids, my name is Ella. And I'm Kyra. At this time of year, we hear a lot about angels and the role they played in the story of Jesus' birth. Today, we're going to show you how to make some paper angels that you could hang on your Christmas tree or wherever you like. The things you will need are some glue, squares of coloured paper, a cotton ball or pom-pom, and a glittered pipe cleaner. Start by folding your paper in half to make a rectangle. Now you want to fold it in half again to make it a smaller rectangle. Open it all up. Now you are going to concertina fold your paper. Fold the edge to the first crease line. Then flip it over and fold it the other way. You want to keep on switching this each time you fold it. Now do a second one, exactly the same. Now you want to glue the two pieces together, but only two thirds of the way. Fold the unglued sections down to make the wings. Glue the wings to the body. Now use your glue to stick the pom-pom on as your head. Make a halo out of pipe cleaners and put it on its head. Now your angels are done. Angels are messengers of good news throughout the Christmas story. Have fun making your own. Maybe even hang them on your tree to remind you of the good news they brought. Bye! Good afternoon, King's Kids. My name is Professor Ayavaz, and today I'm going to show you something amazing. 
My assistant Hans and I just love doing experiments. I've been preparing already for this one. You will notice I already have a large plastic container full of water. But there are a few more things that I'll need. Hans, are you ready to start today's experiment? Very good. Now, can you please bring me a clear glass flask? It must have a narrow mouth. Yes, that looks good, Hans. I think that one should work well. We will also need some food coloring. I think red would be a good color for this experiment. That's right, Hans. Next, we need some string. Very good. And we also need a funnel. Thank you, Hans. Now we will need some hot water. You always need to be very careful with hot water, Hans. You do not want to burn yourself. Nice work, Hans. We have everything we need now. Please get the string and carefully tie it around the neck of the flask. We need to make sure there is enough string for us to gently lower the flask into the container later on. That's right, Hans. Now, please put the funnel into the neck of the flask and use this to pour the hot water in. Fill the flask with hot water. Remember the water is hot, so be careful. Very good! Now, please put some of the food coloring into the flask. Can you see it going a dark red color? That is looking good, thank you Hans! Okay, here comes the fun part! Very carefully, lower the flask into the container of cold water. Make sure it stays upright as you do this Hans! you look at that? Can you see the red color at the top of the container? It's like an underwater volcano. This underwater volcano is created because the hot water rises and the cold water sinks. The particles of the hot water are moving faster and further apart than those in the cold water. As a result, when we placed the flask into the container of cold water, the hot water started to rise out the top. The hot water circulates to the top of the container because it is less dense than the surrounding cold water. Less dense fluids rise and more dense fluids sink. The red hot water then remained at the top of the container and created what looked like an erupting volcano. This experiment reminds me of our story today. There was such exciting news, the news that Mary couldn't wait to share with Elizabeth, that baby Jesus was coming. When we have exciting things happening, we can't wait to tell either. The news is just wanting to burst out of us, just like the hot water volcano erupting in our experiment today. Make sure you also share this exciting news about Jesus with others too. Anyway, King's Kids, it's time to go now. Thanks, Hans, for helping with the experiment today. We will see you all next time. Hi King's Kids, my name's Ella and today I'm here with Shane and Andy to do a Bible discovery. Hi Shane, hi Andy, hi King's Kids. G'day Ella. Yeah, hi Ella. Hey Shane, before we start, do you mind praying for us? Yeah, I can do that, let's pray. Dear God, please guide us. Thank you. Thank you Shane. Hey Andy, would you like to read our Bible verse for today? I can do that Ella. Today's Bible text is found in Luke chapter 1 and we have two verses. It's verse 46 and 47. And my version says, And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Wow, thanks Andy. How about you Shane? Okay, uh, let me read mine from my uh, grandma's Bible here. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, 
and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my Saviour. Wow, thanks Shane. Now I'm going to read my version. My version says, My soul gives glory to the Lord. My spirit delights in God my Saviour. Hey Shane, why was Mary so excited? Mary was, Mary was so excited as she was worshipping God because she had just found out that she was going to be the mother of Jesus, the Saviour of the world. Wow, that's so cool. <laughs> you know, I actually think that Mary may have felt a little bit nervous. Imagine that, finding out that your child is going to be the Son of God. She must have had a lot of faith in God that he knew best. Yeah, that's so true, Andy. Hella, is there any time where you've had to trust in something or someone? Hmm, I'm not sure. Didn't you just recently go to summer camp? Oh, yeah. Did you do any activities there? Well, I did do laser tag and beach. What about a, a water slide? Oh yeah, also, and the water slide. So, so did you have to trust that the person that had built the water slide had built it properly? Oh yes, I did. And did you know the person that built it? No. No? Well, we can get to know Jesus through talking to him and then we can learn to trust him. Oh yeah! Thanks Andy! Wow, that's so true. I definitely can understand this text more. Hey Andy, would you like to read the verse one more time? I can do that, Ella. And Mary said, My soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Wow, thanks Andy. Hey Andy, would you like to pray for us? Yeah, let's pray to finish. Dear God, thank you for your word. Help us to remember to trust you always. Amen. Amen. Wow, thank you so much Shane and Andy for doing this Bible discovery with me today. It was cool. Yeah, it's been great. Hey Kings Kids, I challenge you to have your own Bible discovery with your friends. Anyways, Kings Kids, bye! See ya! Bye! I just can't wait until Christmas Cause it's my very favourite time of the year Lots of decorations
are. What wonderful and amazing news Mary had to share with Elizabeth. Uh, Mary was going to be the mother of the Son of God. Uh, God's promise to Mary and to all of us. Uh, this is exciting news that we can share with others today too. Uh, baby Jesus, uh, the Son of God, uh, came to this world uh, because he loves us all so very much. Uh, he wants to save us all, uh, to rescue us so we can spend eternity together with him. Uh, now that is news worth getting excited about, worth sharing. Our verse to remember today comes from Luke chapter 1, verses 46 and 47. And my soul glorifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. Our uh, kings, kids, uh, why don't you find someone today and share this wonderful news with them? Anyway, it's time to go now. I will look forward to catching up with all of you again next time. So take care, stay safe, and God bless.